Hello everyone and welcome back to Into the Breach. Last time we started up the Flame Behemoths and we completed Island 1, uh, which we did the Ice Island first. This time we're going to be moving on to Island 2. Now just to review what we have here, we got Isaac Jones in the Flame Mech. Um, we got the plus one range um, increase for him and also the movement because I felt like movement is super important. He's also super close to like leveling up, so we'll have to see what he gets. Uh, honestly, not sure what to do with him. I don't really need him. These skills, though, are going to definitely make or break him. And then we got a generic pilot here in the Meteor Mech, and we only have the back burner upgrade. I think this is quite a useful thing to have. It definitely increases the versatility of the Meteor Mech. And then finally, we have Archimedes here uh, in the Swap Mech with the plus one reactor and conservative, which we can't, haven't been really able to use at all. But we do have the plus two range uh, uh, increase for him as well. And then we also have this Void Shocker in storage. I'm not sure if I want to use it yet, but I mean, Last Island, I, know, I had like exactly nine reputation, so I felt like there's no point in me selling this, so I may as well keep it and see if I may use it. It seems pretty good, although it is quite expensive. I'll have to see. I, this might be something I only bring up online during like the third or fourth island. Probably not going to bring this up during this island. Anyway, let's take a look at the islands. Ideally, I want to. I don't want to do this one. RST looks really bad because it has the the regen scion, and that is an utter nightmare to deal with in the, with this squad until we can get some damage. This one also seems really bad because of the scion, because it makes everyone immune to fire, and also there's burrowers, so I want to hold off on that as well. This one doesn't seem so bad. We got leapers, which have one health, and spiders that we can easily burn. I think we're gonna go detritus second now. Ooh, it looks. Oh, we got we got three triple or two triple rewards right off the bat. One of them is a reactor core, so we'll definitely do this one first. All right, destroy the acid storm controller. Take less than three good damage. Protect the defense lab. This doesn't seem so bad. Um, I'm just I'm just really hoping this thing can be set on fire. I'm pretty sure it can be set on fire, and we'll have to see. We have an alpha leaper here, which kind of sucks. I want my artillery like super far away. All right, let's see what we can do. Hopefully Isaac and the, and the default pilot get some XP. Ooh, webbing, dude, that's not cool. This is not a very good start, I will say. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this doesn't kill him. Wow, dude, like this, if I leave this guy alone, he does literally 10 damage to me. There's no way I can ever. This, no, I firing like this would be a really bad idea because this would push the guy into hitting the building. Honestly, I think what I have to do here. Yeah, because they're, ugh, this is really bad. Yeah, the spider screwed me so hard, because I was just going to fire onto this. Like, I mean, I'm glad they're not targeting any buildings, but it's like, how do I get out of this? I could swap the egg over here. Killing it. And then artillery. Can push that guy out of the way. Let's, like, I'm gonna have to do that, I think. And then from here, do I want to do this? Let's say I do have range on this, but unfortunately, I don't know if I can get in a safe position to like push this guy and also set it on fire. So I think I want to stand here and push this guy over this way. And then come over here, set this thing on fire. It's really important this is on fire, but we are so utterly screwed next turn, I can guarantee you that. We have one... We have two attack... No, we're gonna have four attacking enemies, possibly. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Stupid Zion. I might. I think I'm gonna let that building go. Honestly, that one health building. Maybe that one too. The, I. I honestly don't think I can save either. Like both those buildings. It's either gonna be one or the other if I really tried. What makes sense to me here is getting rid of the spider. The spider is a real pain in my butt right now. And then maybe doing something like this. Let's see, this would get rid of the egg. This also would interrupt the scarab. Yeah, I think this is what we do here. This would, uh, this would actually kill this guy if I leave him alone. Yeah, this thing will burn to death, so I can kind of leave it. I could save one of these buildings, actually. I think what makes sense to me here is just to uh, light this guy on fire and push him into this one. Because this guy will be killing that one. I don't want to push him out of the way. Okay, let's do this. I'm sorry to these buildings, but it's like, yeah, I don't really have a choice. I can save one of them, that's for sure. But yeah, let's get rid of the spider now. Spider is way too big of a threat. Wait, who goes first? Okay, good. That guy. Okay, I didn't check that before. But let, thankfully, the first scarab goes first before that guy. Okay. I'm sorry, civilians. Civilians, your sacrifice was necessary. At least they're not webbing my guys right now. Hmm. 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 Let's swap the scarab out. I could also. I think you know. Wait. No. I was gonna say maybe I could use this. Leaper to kill, like, I, I could use number five to kill two, but no, two goes first, and he would hit that building. But I still might move him here. Just a block for me. That's what I'm thinking. And then we can come over here. Do something like this. Now that guy will die to fire, and this guy will be blocking for me. And then this guy just got to push out of the way with artillery. Yeah, let's do this. I can't take more than three. I can't take um, any more grid damage, so I definitely have to prevent that from happening. Luckily, we only have one more turn after this. Um, so what we got on the board is what we got. Got to level up with Isaac. Not sure what Isaac just got. Oh. We'll look in a moment. Okay, well, they had made this really easy for me. This question is because I can definitely push these guys out of the way. It's just like, how can I get more kills? Ooh, Isaac has technician now. That's an interesting skill. I don't know if it's like super good though. Yeah, I could set I could kill this guy. I don't know about this one. I think this guy I just have to shove out of the way. I can just yeah, I can just swap out of swap to nothing here. Wait, yeah, we need to push this guy down. Hmm. Hmm. Look, okay, oh, does water get rid of acid? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I just wanted to test that. It's not like related to the situation at all, I was just curious. Yeah, I think I have to- I don't know if I can kill any of these guys while also safely protecting a building. 
So I think what I just do here is set this guy on fire. Or no, I, I want to push him out of the way. Yeah, push this guy out of the way. And then swap mech just swaps with like nothing. Gets out of there. Oh, you know what? I can reset here because I can I can actually kill the Scion. It's a little bit of XP, but it's, I mean, every bit helps. Because I can just swap here. I can push the Scion, like so, into me. So now he'll die to the fire. Yeah, Isaac got one XP from that. It's Every little bit counts. Alright, yeah, we lost two grid power, which I can live with. We can definitely get it back. Alright, core, 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 what do I do with you? I think it makes sense just to, uh, well, hang on. Let's look at this. Ooh, we got, I've never seen this before, the VIP. Oh no, I saw the VIPs before, I'm pretty sure. If we get more range on our communities, that could be really good. I could also give him a special ability now. See, do I want more range or do I want his ability? I think I go for his ability. The range doesn't doesn't seem like it's gonna be all that helpful to me. But yeah, let's go here. We'll get a little bit of power back, and we'll get a lot of reputation in the process. Or maybe I should do, just do this one now. This one seems like it could be easier. And we'll just do the three one right now. We'll be fine. Hmm. And I'm worried about what the spider is gonna do. I can never like really plan what the spider does. You, dude, are really suck. Uh, you can web a VIP, I'm fine with that. You're doing nothing, great. Okay, you on the other hand, I have a problem with. So I could just swap this hornet out. I forget, what do the VIPs do? They have like an ability that lets them move, right? Yeah. They can't move at all unless I use their thing, and that's it. So I'm thinking of swapping this guy over here, push him into the egg, kill the egg. And then this guy maybe... Oh, does the ability let me walk out? Oh. Oh, it does let me walk out of a web. I don't think that, yeah, I don't think the webbing... It seems like the web or the webbing doesn't affect the civilian, or the VIP, I should say. So if I swap this guy out over here, I can push him into the egg. And then... Maybe I can use the artillery to push the spider up. I don't know, here, let's just do this. He has three movement. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. I can set the Hornet on fire, which gets him... Well, I can, yeah, I can do more damage to him. That certainly helps. I think that's what we're going to have to do here. Alright, so the Hornet I don't have to worry about next, next turn. It really sucks, though. Okay, let's move this guy here. Next to the mountain. And Archimedes, we can move back into position, right? He doesn't have to be super far out of the way. This guy will just leave there. And yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So yeah, that... That Hornet I don't have to worry about. Which is lovely. Kind of, shame though, kind of a shame, though, I didn't get any damage on the spider. Spiders are always so annoying. Oh, the Scion. Oh, the Scion just ruined my plans. Okay, 
The egg is doing like nothing. Hmm. If I go here, damage a scion a little bit. The fact that the guy, these guys now have two HP really screwed me over. Let's see, our, our, can our artillery do anything really fancy here? Well, I, mean, I could save the civilian. Also set that guy on fire. I think what we do here is this, right? Two resets turns, right? I can play around a little bit. So now the Scion will die, and as a result, these two guys will die. So all, so all three of these guys are dying. This Hornet and this guy are attacking the city at the same time. Although if I just come over here and swap this Hornet out, and then Archimedes can now sidestep out of the way. Uh, number six here will actually kill number eight, and then I still have the spider to deal with. I think everything works out. Yeah. And I don't have to move the civilians at all. I, I would say that's a pretty good turn. Oh man, look at all that death. And Archimedes' ability really came in handy there. Alright, that is a really annoying web. Don't want to do that. Hmm. I think what we do here is we swap this hornet way out of the way and then we can just push this guy up into the into the path there and he's dead. And now this is where the back burden comes in handy because I can just burn this egg behind me. Yeah. Or no, that doesn't really help me. Yeah, we'll just fire behind us. Lighting more tiles on fire. Civilian just gonna have to get out of the way. Or I can just swap places. Yeah, what else am I gonna do with this mech? There's like nothing else I can really do besides just block more. So I think, yeah, I just saved this. Oh wait, no, that was a bonus move only, right? So yeah, I do need to move this guy out of the way. Let's just put him... So yeah, we'll move him to the side, so he has options about how I can move him. And then, yeah, we'll just come over here block this. Because the guy that emerges will be on fire. So I want to leave that spawn up. And that spider is finally dead. Lovely. Oh, you see that? That's really nice because that leaper's just gonna die instantly. Oh, and I see a really good opportunity for this generic guy to get his XP in just by doing this. He gets finisher. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be useful at all for this. But here, Isaac can get his XP here. And this guy just repairs. And we're good. Alright, good job, everyone. That was a good mission. Oh, yeah, there's her achievement. Squash Earth. We got 12 tiles on fire. Probably more than that for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, we had exactly 12 there, it looks like. Unless I miscounted. Game boost and plus 2 move on the last turn. Okay. I mean... I don't think... That really matters for this mech all that much. Yeah, we're getting really weak skills, I, I kind of want to admit. <laughs> I think now we should probably go to the venting fields. This is usually a very easy mission to do. 
Yeah, let's just hop right into it. Probably gonna get a time pod right now. Alright, let's stay out of this leaper's way. I think we just go here. Here and then here. I, I want to avoid being webbed by the leaper. Although the spider may still web me. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Um, pushing this group back and having this guy block for me is not such a bad idea. In fact, I'm also considering just swapping the egg out to free up both my guys. Yeah, I think... I think that makes sense here. Oh, except I can't even... I can't even see that building. I mean, okay, we're gonna have to do something else then. Yeah, let's reset. We got two resets after all with Isaac. May as well use them. I could swap just my artillery over, but why would I do that? Or maybe this is just the turn where I use this against the enemies. That might be the case here, because this is such an awful first turn. I think it makes sense to do this now. Move this out, and then you can come push the spider for us. Bam! Now he's blocking, and then we can come block this other spawn way over here. And then we can even. Do I want to get the time pod? I probably just want to. Actually, I don't know if this thing is immune to fire or not. I don't know if I want to back burner that or not. I can just come over here, get the time pod, and then just set that on fire. Good thing the eggs don't have extra HP, that would be really annoying. Dude, why'd you do that? Yeah, this is definitely the turn where we use the disposal unit. Like this, against the mountains. This guy will die. If anything, I think we just have this scion block. For Actually, no, we can push him. Okay, this will. Yeah, this is a. This is a really good choice right here. I think. And then you can just do. So I want to get more fire going, so let's light this tile on fire. It'll hurt myself a little bit, but, you know, who cares. And let's come block the spawn. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, we definitely use the disposal unit against the mountains right now. And the next turn I have... Oh yeah, we can just swap this guy, have him block for me. And this guy just needs a little push. And he's basically dead and we can light more stuff on fire. It's really cool how you can just set multiple tiles on fire like that. Yeah, I think we basically win. Because both those Vec are basically dead, and then we have a disposal unit to use. 
Hopefully they just make it easy for us. Hmm. Yeah, we just come over here. Kill that guy. Let's see, do I gain a b bonus damage here? No, I think you have to do damage for the boosted effect to like work. That's what I'm guessing anyway. We'll just move out of the way here and do this. Uh, he's dead, uh, so yeah, we're done. Very nice, guys, very nice. These islands just keep getting easier and easier. Give me a new pilot. Ooh, it's a new one. Morgan Lejeune. Mech gains boosted on kill. No idea who I would possibly give that to in this squad. She also has skill, which is really huge. All boosted on kill and skilled. I think it... <sighs> mm, this is a really tricky one. Yeah, I think I just get rid of the default pilot. Finisher doesn't seem that good with this squad. I think it makes sense to put her in this one. Get that extra movement, extra HP. And then just put Isaac in this one. I'm glad we're finally, we finally got our first... Uh, DLC, or not DLC, uh, Advanced Edition content pilot. Yeah, she's got amazing movement in this mech now. Five movement. And also extra HP. Boosted could work really well if um, something's on fire. I wonder if it's just for the turn, or if it's like as soon as I get any kill, she gains boosted. Isaac is fine. I think we use our core just to get the teleporter more range. That's what I'm thinking. And that'll have to do for now, I think. We have incredibly massive range now. Yeah, we can look how far, like the thing can be four tiles away. And also he can, he can also just be like super far away because of his um special ability. All right, we got one more mission to do. I think it makes sense to do this one. Use the Detra's contraption four times. Or destroy two Vec egg sacs. We will have a really easy time with this one. I think it makes sense to actually do this disposal vault one. Because that'll give me up to seven rep and then the corporate HQ will give me up to nine. And then nine's like a nice round number. Like I do kind of need the power. This one seems like it'd be really bad with the squad because I have to shield because if I recall correctly I have to use the contraption four times But two of those times it has to be with missiles and two of those times it has to be with shields But the problem is that shields completely block fire damage, which makes this squad really bad for it. So yeah, we'll go to this one here This one also has lots and lots of water that the swap mech can easily use Like, I think this is going to be a really easy mission. Oh, why'd you have to do that, dude? Hmm. They have options. Considering just doing this, setting that egg on fire, freeing up the swap mech to kill the spider. Yeah, let's do this. And then let's just get out of this hornet's way. Yeah, let's let's rather than pushing this guy and having him blocked, let's just light both these on fire. And then we'll have whatever is emerging be on fire at the start. Because I do want to let this guy get some kills, right? Some more- what was her name? Or their name? I'm pretty sure it was a girl. Hmm. 
Yeah, what was it? Yeah, Morgan Lejeune. Lejeune. Whatever. I don't know how to say that. Alright. This dude is obviously a very big threat to the power. Everyone else besides the Spiderling is a problem. Can't even really push it out of the way. I have to get the kill. Well, the Scion will die, so if I set this guy on fire, this guy will get reduced to 1 HP and I'll be dead. Yeah, let's do this. And then... What do we want to do here? We could kill this guy. I don't think that will trigger my boosted stat unless I push him into water, which I might am considering. And then the swap mech can just swap this guy. Oh yeah, we'll do this. Have him block for us. Yeah, let's get the kill here. I'd rather set more tiles on fire, but this will this will give me boosted, I think. Yeah, we're boosted now. On their next action, units' weapons will do plus one damage or healing. Or healing. Oh, okay. That's... I didn't realize that affected healing. Alright, we should be able to get rid of this egg sack now, no problem. I can push this guy, block for me. And then artillery. Artillery can damage that. Yeah, we can do that. I love the swap mech so much. <laughs> it's such, it's so cool. Let's see, let's do so many like interesting kills. Got a lot of vec to deal with this turn now. We're gonna have to deal with four. But I mean, it's the last turn, so it can't be that. I mean, that guy's also dead too. So we technically really only have three. Oh, does the boost did not last? Oh, I guess it's only for the current turn. Yeah, we just do this. And then... Swap you out of the way. That guy will not die, unfortunate, but I mean, what can you do? Oh wait, oh wait, no, he's gonna damage the building. I need to deal with him, what am I thinking about? Yeah, what am I thinking? So who goes first? No, oh shoot. Yeah, let's push this guy up. Yeah, we'll just push this guy up. It's fine. We can we can just take the damage that this guy's doing. In fact, we can we can actually get the kill on this guy. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, so I'm taking one damage, but that's fine, but both these guys are burning to death, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm considering bringing Morgan with me back in time because this seems like a really cool ability and also skill skill alone is like pretty good all right let's go to corporate HQ destroy the gastropod leader and just check the corporate tower and unfortunately we don't have any like lakes that the swap mech can use to kill stuff but that's fine we're gonna do a fine Wow, there's very little space for me to deploy in. 
I don't think I want to put two mechs there. Because I feel like that... If I put a second mech up here, I feel like the, the spider is going to be very tempted to web two of my guys at the same time. And I don't want that happening. And I don't think it can web my two guys over here. So we'll just do this. I mean, the leader's doing nothing. Definitely need to take out that Scion, though. What does the leader do? Let me look at something. Uh, Flamer and Probiscus. Use a grapple to pull back towards objects or units. T nearby tiles erupt in flame. Oh! Okay, so he works for my squad. He's not immune to fire either, which could work out. But he only my prime mech can survive getting hit like that, so we'll definitely avoid that. Yeah, I think I just avoid him right now. I just step out of the way. If I did this, that's not really helpful. If I did this... Yeah, that frees me. No, it doesn't free me. Well, in a way, it does. Well, yeah, we'll do this. And we'll, we'll set a lot of tiles on fire here. And then swap mech. I guess I'll just, I just, I think I just have the swap mech block. I think that's the best thing. Yeah, thanks for creating all that fire, dude. I'm sure it'll come in real handy for you. Oh my gosh, I see an amazing opportunity here. The swap mech's gonna have a freaking field day, is what's gonna happen. This guy will be blocking for me. He still won't be on fire, though. I need to set this guy on fire. Soonish. Actually, if I just get out of the way... Yeah, this won't damage the building. If I just get out of the way... Like this, you can kill the egg for me. This is a really tempting to do. Yeah, I, I want to do this. Yeah, let's let's do this actually. Scion's now on fire. Oh, I didn't really think this through at all. I need, I need my swap mech like, freed. I could also just push this guy out of the way and have... Like that. No, wait. No, yeah, what I want to do is just this. Get rid of the... Get rid of the egg like this. Yeah, kill this guy, and push that guy out of the way, and then here I can swap the scarab here. He's no longer hitting anything, and he's also blocking. I feel like that, yeah, I feel like that's the best use of my turn. Problem is, though, is that the boss is still not on fire. Although I do have boosted now, and he's running out of spaces to stand, I feel. Maybe I can get a leaper to kill him. Ah, uh, he's not looking the right way. Yeah, he'll... He's trying to pull stuff to him. Which means that anything that survives... Hmm. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, this is tricky. So I have three. I have two threats to the building right now, but I'm also running out of time to kill the boss. I really, I really need to make use of this boosted. I think. I could. I actually, if I do this. Yeah. This. If. Yeah. Wait. No. Yeah. I want to set this leaper on fire. Oh no! I want to set fire to both of them, but I can't do that. Wait, no! I don't need to set this guy on fire, because if he takes one damage and the Scion dies to fire, he'll die. Yeah, let's do this. So now he's on fire, right? So if I come here and punch him for three damage, and then the swap mech can... Well, I'll have to take a grid damage, but I can have this guy block for me. Or I can just have him swap to somewhere completely different. Yeah, I could do this. And no, he'll be hitting the building there. You can swap him back. Question is, do I want to take a grid damage and have him block a spawn for me? Or do I want to deal with another Vec next turn? That's the tricky part. Yeah, this guy can't kill me, which is really nice. The four health, baby. Hmm. I think I'd rather just take the grid damage and let, have him this guy block for me. Swap mech really needs more HP. It would make Archimedes such a better blocker if he had more HP. Man, that boost is really coming into play here. I would say. Yeah, that's right, bud. You can't stop me. But I feel like we definitely can kill the boss this turn. I just have to deal one damage to him. But I feel like it's gonna have to be my prime mech that does the damage. I think let me just do this. Push this guy out, out of the way. Get our achievement. This guy's not doing anything now. Alright, we lost a grid power, but I can live with that. Definitely way better uh, getting the perfect island than just losing one civilian building. I love all the fire so much! Alright. Yeah, give me that perfect island reward. Prospero! The big one. <laughs> Prospero is a pilot I really want. He also has opener? I, I want to get Prospero, but not use him. Again, I'm not sure about using the big one here. This could work really well in combination with Boosted, though. But it, this seems like so tricky to use. Hmm, I don't know. Big one or Prospero? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's giving me this weapon so much already. I'm gonna get Prospero. I, I just want to unlock more pilots. My question is, do I use him? I feel like I already have a flying unit, I don't know. I feel like I don't need him. Although Isaac, let me just double check what opener does. Yeah, boost and plus two, yeah, I feel like Isaac is better here. I don't need Prospero. All right, we got smoke drop. Don't really want that, micro artillery. Artillery with potential to launch multiple small projectiles. Oh, that's right, I have to upgrade it. To make it good. Quick fire artillery. Fire two artillery shots in different directions. 
Ally immune and plus two damage. Hmm. That's tempting, but I think I'd rather just upgrade the damage on my artillery mech. I don't think we need to be firing t two directions. We had the back burner after all. I think we, um... We definitely buy three reactor cores here. The question is, do I want to sell more stuff? Or do I want to keep this thing? I think I'd rather keep my pilots and s keep them for, like, next island. Because unless I can sell three things all at once to buy another reactor core, I think it's pointless. I think I just hold on to everything. Because I do want to use this passive. Like, I'm going to run out of stuff to upgrade, like, very soon. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to hold on to this because I want to, I want to bring this up online, but... Not this island. I'll hold on to these two so I can sell them next island. But for right now, let's... I need to get... Orkin needs more health. His ability lets him block super easily, and he needs more health in order to do that efficiently. And then I'm thinking I want the damage. I want the damage in the Meteor Mech here. But I'm going to need one more Reactor Core for that. So I think for right now, we'll put it in here, but we'll give him the health and the movement. And then as soon as we get their next Reactor Core, we'll put the damage in here. And I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, next time, we'll be doing Island 3 with the Flame Behemoths. Until next time, next time guys, bye!